Hello guys, in this video I am going to solve different problems on tension in strings. So let's consider a pulley and the mass arrangement as shown. And a force F is acting on the pulley. So we have to find the accelerations of mass M and the pulley. In order to solve this, consider points A, B, C on the string. And at point C, the string is fixed. Now if the pulley is moved by distance X, then the points A and B move to A dash and B dash. And the pulley displacement A A dash is equals to X. And since we know the string length is constant, we can write C A B equal to C A dash B dash, which can be written as A B equal to 2 A A dash plus A B dash. And if we solve it further, we will get B B dash equal to 2 A A dash, which is equals to 2 X. So the mass M moves double the distance of pulley. Thus, if A is the acceleration of mass M, then A by 2 is the acceleration of pulley. Now if we take free body diagram of pulley, we get F is equals to 2 T. And since the tension is the force acting on mass, T is equals to M A. And from the previous equation, we can write A is equals to F by 2 M, which is acceleration of mass. And the acceleration of pulley is half of the acceleration of mass. So let's do the next problem. Now let's consider a pulley mass system as shown. And their masses be M1 and M2. And A1 and A2 are the acceleration of these masses which we need to find. The direction of A2 can be taken randomly. And the direction of A1 will be opposite to that of A2. In the previous example, we have seen that the pulley acceleration is half of the acceleration of mass. So here also it is the same case. Here A1 is equals to A2 by 2. And T is the tension in the main string. And the forces acting on the pulley are due to the weight forces. Now let's take free body diagram of first pulley. And let T2 is the tension in the string supporting the mass M1. Then we can write T2 is equals to 2 into T. And let's consider the forces acting on M1. So the net force acting on M1 is T2 minus M1G which is equals to M1A. And now put T2 is equals to 2T and A1 is equals to A2 by 2. Then we will get this equation. And from the free body diagram of M2, we can write net force as M2G minus T which is equals to M2A2. Now we need to solve these two equations to find A2. So we get 2M2 minus M1 by M1 by 2 minus 2M2G. And A1 is equals to half of A2. So let's go to the next problem. Here in this problem, a block is placed on the ground above which a person is holding the string connected to the block at 30 degrees. And assume their masses as capital M and small m. If mu is the coefficient of friction between all the surfaces, then what is the maximum tension the person can exert so that the entire system will be in equilibrium. Now let's write the tension forces acting on the masses. And let's take the free body diagram of the person and mention all the forces acting on the person. Here the frictional force between the person and the block is taken as F1. Now for the equilibrium state, the net force acting on the person should be 0. So sigma fx is equals to 0 which gives mu n1 equal to t cos 30. And sigma fy is equals to 0 which gives n1 is equals to mg minus t sin 30. Now solve these two equations, we will get t is equals to mu mg by cos 30 plus mu sin 30. So this tension force is the maximum tension for the person to remain stationary. But we should also check the maximum tension at which the block will remain stationary. So mention all the forces acting on the block and take sigma fy is equals to 0. We will get n equal to n1 plus mg. Now multiply this equation by mu and substitute the value of n1, we will get this equation. Now consider sigma fx is equals to 0, which is f equal to f1 plus t. Now substitute the value of f and put f1 is equals to t cos 30. Then we can solve for t as follows. So this equation gives the maximum tension for the block to remain stationary. Thus the maximum tension for the entire system to be stationary will be equal to minimum of these two tensions. So here are some practice questions for you. So check out my channel and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.